determining the grain of paper. So what we want to do here is hold a piece of paper loosely in your hands with one hand on each side of the paper and press it ends up towards the center and see how much give you have. You're looking for the direction of the paper that has the most give. So when I turn this here, um, it's, it's giving a lot more, so it means our grain is going up and down. Um, it, if we turn this paper quarter turn, we find it's harder to press, that means that we're trying to bend it across the grain, trying to break those grains, the, the grain running through the paper. So we, when we want to fold paper, we want to fold it with the grain going parallel to the fold. I'm going to fold two pieces of paper. They're the same size, but one is cut with the grain and one is cut against the grain. And I'm going to show you um, what the crease looks like when you fold against the grain. So this one on the right here has got a nice smooth crease. That's what you want. That's what you're looking for. And the one on the left, um, not quite as smooth, which you could fix with a bone folder, but um, you get a much better grain when you're folding, or much better crease when you're folding when you fold parallel to grain.